Morning guys, so today is day 50 of my um, new healthy get fit no drinking journey. Um, I am really really proud of myself. I know it sounds really sad <laughs> but I really am. Um, anyone that knows me knows that I like my wine. I've liked it for years and years and years and I do probably, do, well I do drink too much wine. Um, generally can't go at night without drinking my wine um, and it's just not good for you. Not it's not healthy um i'm overweight because i drink too much and uh, which makes me unhappy which makes me drink more to cheer myself up and it's like a vicious cycle and um i i don't know what triggered it but literally 50 days ago i was like right something's got to change i've had enough of feeling crap waking up feeling crap and um, getting no sleep Every morning I was waking up at three o'clock, um, the classic witching hour, um, feeling guilty, feeling um, like I'd let myself down, um, being tired but I couldn't sleep um, because the the wine in my system had worn off and then you're wide awake and then your day starts at six o'clock and you're grouchy and tired and a little bit groggy because drunk a bottle of wine um so yeah i can see my husband listening to my video <laughs> um he's hiding behind the door um so yeah i'm really really proud of myself for getting to day 50 it's not been easy it has been hard i've had days where i've been really really miserable um and tearful and just literally gone to bed with the ump um but there's not been a single morning that I haven't woken up feeling really, really good. Um, and the first couple of weeks, I generally didn't sleep. I was absolutely exhausted. Um, I couldn't sleep. I was laying awake at one o'clock in the morning, not being able to go to sleep. So I was so tired. I'd say that was for about three weeks. But now, touch wood, I'm sleeping really, really well. I'll go to bed about nine o'clock sleep till about six i've got a bit of a cold today sleep till about six um unless one of my boys wakes me up which can happen but i don't mind that i don't mind being woken up by the boys but i do mind being woken up because i've drunk too much and i feel crap um so i'm sleeping better i've lost nearly a stone and a half in weight which i'm over the moon with because my weight is a big part of the reason as to why i think i drink um so i'm not at my happy weight yet but i'm on my way there um and i feel so much better for it my clothes fit better i'm not bloated like you know that wine belly i have got that classic wine belly people always say to me but you look so good in your videos you're so slim and i have got quite a slim face although when i drink it's really puffy my face is really puffy and my belly looks like a pregnant belly like Quite often, my little boy will say to me, Mum, have you got a baby in your belly? And I'm like, no, darling, that's just the wine. <laughs> um, so that bloatedness is gone, um, which is really nice. My clothes fit better. so I, And I feel better. I feel better. Like, I don't... I'm not happy with my weight, but I'm happy that I'm doing something about it. And I'm generally eating healthier. Um, because I'm not... You know, when you drink wine, you eat crap. I keep saying crap. I've got to stop saying crap. Um, you eat rubbish when you drink wine, don't you? But generally, I'm every evening, rather than sitting on the sofa drinking wine, I'm cooking really nice, healthy meals. We're doing salads, stir fries, salmon. Um, me and Steve are eating together. He's doing it with me. He's still having the odd beer and the glass of wine, but I don't mind that. I've said to him, you know, at the end of the day, if he can moderate, if you, if anyone can moderate their drinking, there's nothing wrong with having a drink. Unfortunately, I've got quite an addictive personality and I can't moderate my drinking, um, which is why I've got myself in this situation. Um, whereas Steve can. Steve can, you know, have a couple of beers one night and another night and not drink anything at all, which is great. You know, I'd love to be like that. Um, and there's nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. That's normal. But, I'm, um, yeah. I'm never going to be able to be like that. So I did have a little cry with my sister last night because she was saying to me how proud she was of me. And um, 
I felt I was saying to her, I'm really nervous about Christmas, really nervous about my birthday. Um, because they're big things that are coming up and I associate them with nice wine, fine wine. You know, going out for dinner and having a really nice bottle of Merlot or Pinot Grigio. I like looking at the wine list. Um, so I feel nervous about my upcoming birthdays, but my birthday and Christmas. But we'll get through it. She She's going to help me do some mocktails. Um, and I'm, rather than planning a meal out for my birthday, which, with my friends, which I would normally do, I have booked a soft play, and I'm having a tea and cake at a soft play for my birthday party, um, with the kids as well, children are invited, um, but, yeah, so I'm just changing things around a bit, um, but, yeah, I got a bit tearful with her, just saying that I feel sad that I'm never going to drink again, mm. and, even my husband says to me, you're really never going to drink again. Like, never, ever. And I'm like, I genuinely can't. Because I know if I have that one drink, if I have that one sip of wine, I'm going down that downward spiral. Because I've tried to do this a couple of times. Like, I've bought all the quick lit books. I've downloaded the apps. Um, and I've, I have done it for never for 50 days. I think the most I've ever gone is probably two weeks without having a drink. Um, but I've never gone this long before. Um, the last time I went this long was when I, uh, when Jack was a baby, so 10 years ago. Um, and I lost four stone in four months and I managed to give up drinking then. Obviously, I don't drink when I'm pregnant, that's different. And I don't drink on a night shift, obviously. Um, but generally, they're the only times since I was, since I've been at uni, that I've not drunk. Um, so, yeah, this is the longest I've ever gone. And, um, yeah, that's me now, done for drinking. And it does make me sad. Um, you know, if I think about going to a wedding and drinking water, God, that's just like... Makes me want to literally cry. Um, but again, I'm just taking one day at a time and we'll deal with those things when they come up. And I have to remind myself that as sad as I feel that I'm never going to drink again. And I, as much as I love wine, I can't drink the wine socially. Um, I've got to remind myself that I feel so much better for it. And I really do. Like, I've got more energy. I'm calmer. I don't feel, I, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm an anxious person, but I worry a lot. Um, I worry about the boys, I worry about, you know, what people think of me. And I've not felt as, like, worried about things anymore. I feel more chilled. I'm quite a chill, chilled person, but I'm even more chilled than normal. Um, I've got more patience with children. You know, I mean, the dog, uh, George nearly squashed the puppy in the door this morning. Don't even ask. Normally I'd shout at him because I'd be tired and grouchy and he'd hurt the dog. He didn't mean to, but I was so much calmer and I made sure the dog, dog was okay. And then I gave George a cuddle and said, George, she's fine. Don't cry, darling. She's fine. And picked the dog up and the dog licked George and everything was all right. So generally I'm, I'm happier. My skin's better. I feel like my skin's got more of a glow. My eyes are brighter. These are all really silly little things, but I've noticed them. So, like, I almost feel like my eyes were, like, grey before, whereas now I feel like they're a bit brighter. Um, but, yeah, I generally feel so much better for it, and I have to remind myself of that every single night. Um, you know, I follow some really inspirational people on Instagram, um, so I'll, I'll quickly have a look on their pages to kind of keep me motivated and remind myself why I'm doing it. And if I were to have a glass of wine, how disappointed I'd feel in myself. Um, so, yeah, that's my little blurb. Sorry for going on so much, but I thought day 50, I'm really proud of that. So I do a little video and share it with you and reach out to anyone that is similar to me. Because I think people like associate alcoholics with, um, you know, being homeless, um, you know, just there's a real stigma with being someone that that likes alcohol and actually that's not what alcohol alcoholic is you know anyone can anyone can love alcohol and be addicted to wine wine alcohol is a, an addiction 
and it's actually the only drug that you can buy um but it, it's addictive you know and there's a lot of people out there that rely on you know that the wine to get them through the the difficult you know four o'clock to eight o'clock when the kids are playing up um you know that whole witching hour and it is hard it's hard it's hard being a parent life is hard and sometimes you know having that glass of wine is a lovely outlet but actually you only get that hit for 20 minutes and then you after you've had that first glass of wine you go into the next glass and it's a bit of a downward spiral and it brings on depression um and makes you feel terrible basically um so it's just not worth it so anyone that is similar to me that is struggling please reach out and i'm not saying i'd be able to help you but i'd be happy to talk to you um and give you any tips of how i've been able to do it um it is good to talk to people i met a lovely girl um randomly on the beach um i think i was day 20 when i met her and randomly just started talking i think i said to her I recommended a cinema near me where you can have a glass of wine while you watch the cinema. And her son said to me, oh, no, she's in recovery. And I was like, oh, no way. And then we started talking anyway. She's become a really good friend. So it is good to talk to people about it. Um, and anyone can do it. I know it's hard, but anyone can. If you want to knock the wine on the head, you can. Our house is absolutely full of wine. Like, every single wine rack has got all my favourite wines on the rack. I reckon we've got 30 bottles of wine in this house and I've not touched a single one. And now they don't bother me. Like I can sit there in an evening with a cup of tea, I've got my tea here, and I can look at the wine and it doesn't, I don't get that feeling that I got at the beginning of my journey. Um, and it is getting easier. It is, I promise. It, every day it gets a little bit easier. The first month's the hardest. And I was really moody and miserable the first month. But this month, I've been feeling so much better and it's not affecting me as much. Again, I know I'm going to struggle on my birthday, so I need to plan ahead. My birthday's in a week. Um, but generally, every night, I'm quite happy watching my Christmas movie with the boys, with my cup of tea um, and my little chocolate snack. Um need that little sugar in the evening um but i've been having my healthy chocolate my one-to-one -one diet chocolate bar so it's full of vitamins and minerals got all your goodness but you're getting that sugar hit anyway i'm going to stop waffling on um i hope i haven't bored you too much and yeah cheers to 50 days bye